What's going on boys, no guides here, welcome back to another video and today's video we're going to go over mistakes that gold players or rank 5 players make that elite players and pro players or rank 1 players do not. These are some mistakes that you're probably making that you didn't even realise and we're going to fix them straight away. We're going to go through three examples I guarantee you will fix your gameplay. Now let's look at the first one. The first clip I want to show you is here, it's a very very simple, sometimes the most basic thing and you know what it is, is letting go of that run button. You know I look at thousands of gameplay from coaching, the, the most common thing that I see is people they run too much this FIFA you cannot run especially not this FIFA you need to be able to take a touch control the ball look how I'm able to move with Mbappe it's not bigger people say oh it's because you have Mbappe no it's not it's because I got a player that's got decent agility and balance but you can see my left analog stick I'm maneuvering the ball my left analog stick that is how you can see when I get the ball Ronaldo then I can maneuver the ball even with Ronaldo who's a very clunky player so the key thing is is just don't run when you're in a final third, use a left analog stick, be deliberate, think about what you're doing. When you run, you're going to end up losing the ball. It's the most common mistake. This is what all the top tier players do. And also, don't forget one key thing. When you're running, you take longer strides. When you're jogging, you take small. So if you make a pass at this point, the game won't make a pass until you touch the ball again. Whereas you make a pass at this point, the pass gets made straight away. Most people don't realize. They think the game is broken because the pass are not going on time or the day delayed. But truthfully speaking, it's because you're running. Have control over the ball, and that way you can go in a situation, be in control, and then score. So when do you run then, you may ask? So you run when there's clear space in front. Have a look at this example over here, and you can see, in fact, overdo it. You can see here, I run. Why? It's because there's clear space. There's no one in the way. I can run straight away in front. And you can see over here, look what I actually end up doing. I let go of the run button, but you can see when I was talking about those long strides, my player took a long stride. So when I take a shot here, the shot gets delayed so late that the goalkeeper comes out and actually saves the chance. Now, is it the game's fault? No, it's my fault. I'll explain to you exactly why. My new touch you can see here, we take hold the run button, one heavy touch here. Now you can see here, the player, if I was jogging, I could have shot and I scored, but because I held the run button again, I let go of it, it took that touch, look how long that stride is, press the shoot button, and then by the time it happens, it gets delayed. If you do want to get better at FIFA 23, I do have a FIFA score series, but just before you skip ahead, what if I told you if you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money? I can say that because I've been running my paid advance in that FIFA score series successfully for many years and thousands of others have joined already and still stay on. This is for all levels of those that want to improve on FIFA and you won't find these videos on my YouTube channel. These videos are in a progressive systematic learning system that teaching you everything from the core mechanics of FIFA to the meta so you can get better at FIFA as a whole, not just this game with examples and explanations that go beyond the scope of YouTube videos. With new videos coming out every single week, these videos also adjust to recent updates and patches so you can stay up to date. So come join thousands of others in a mature audience community for those looking to get better. Patreon.com forward slash nil guides, link is down below in the description. Now when you join, we already have a library of hundreds of videos that are specifically made for both new gen and old gen. With new videos and FIFA 23 getting added every single week. We also have an additional group coaching as well that we started this year due to high demand and high request. And don't forget guys, it's a money back guarantee. So if you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money. That is the nil guides guarantee. Anyway, link is down below in the description, patreon.com forward slash nil guides. But anyway, back to the video. Now we're going to go to the second mistake and it comes with player switching is that players you switch too late. Everyone thinks the right stick switching on time but truthfully speaking they end up right stick switching too late and that is how top tier players get away with using for example not slow players no one's going to be using Ruben Diaz at centre back let's be honest okay but what happens is that they can use players that have got 85 sprint speed is why it's because they have that ability to switch you can even see here that I switch last minute but I switch just in enough time to run back and I recover the situation you can see I run in a straight line back and I'm able to get the ball. So how is Marquinhos able to outpace Ronaldo and I think he's on Architect as well so he's on Lengthy. Well the key thing is here as soon as the pass is being made that is your cue to press the L1 button. You can see that cursor above the player's head I'm saying to the game I want to pass the ball to him. Then the most important step that everyone misses out stop going towards the ball. The ball. Your job is to run back here and to slow him down so your defensive line can reunite and unite together to make a back four. That is the role of that defender, just like in real life. Don't be a Cancelo. Don't try to challenge that situation like you did with Salah. Forget it, you challenge it here, 
and he skips past you, that's it, he's one on one. But you see, I keep running to the left, not towards the ball. I'm going like this, slowly, but I'm running like this more. I'm closing him off, and that way, I'm in front of him, I force him to push the ball forward. See, if I didn't run at that angle, I would have been killed. And you can see, then I'm in front, and then I didn't use a hard slide tackle or side tackle to win the ball. But had I made that mistake that I see a lot of players, even players in rank one, rank two, that I see actually make this, because they sometimes they get away with it because the players they have. But even if you've got a fast player, you have to run to the left, block the angle towards goal, and then defend a situation. So always remember, when you are defending, always run backwards, run to where the ball is going to be, not to where the ball is. If you're not sure, my general rule of thumb is you're in a situation you're like, you know what, no, I'm not too sure. Sometimes I panic, but that's true. Select a defender on the inside, not the outside. Don't select this guy. Forget about teammate contained. Forget about all that. Just keep it simple. Just run straight. If you're really, really not sure, just run more towards goal. At least that way, you're going to slow him down. And at worst case scenario, you'll be in front of him and you can at least get him, let him have a shot on an off angle or away from goal. Be in a situation to recover. Don't get yourself caught in no man's land earlier on. And then the final one, the most common reason why goals are conceded. Do you know what it is? It's losing the ball in your own half. This, this is actually done as a deliberate action when I was actually recording this video. And I wanted to show if you lose the ball, how you can be caught out of possession. And you can see, for example, like here, I tried my absolute best to recover the situation. I could have defended it a bit better, to be honest. I think I did a good job. And unfortunately, Donnarumma didn't make the save. Now, yes, again, it's OK. I got a bit unlucky again that the ball went through Godfrey's free. I got a bit unlucky there. And yes, I got a bit unlucky that Donnarumma should have made it. I mean, it should have not been the goal. But the truth is, I made a mistake here. So here I deliberately tried to dribble. And lost the ball here i was able to recover thankfully but when i do the exact same thing deliberately again and at this point here i lose the ball and i'm telling you at this point i'm honestly doing my best defender this is not me uh, going half-hearted as soon as i lost the ball here my play is out of position then you can see that lorente that's meant to be a right back he is now out of possession now you can see my back three is completely a completely gone and you can see he's actually got one two three four players in behind so when he wins that ball going back you can see my players are mismatched i tried to cover the wide area i should have probably gone towards the central area to be honest and you can see i'm trying to cover all the players get a bit unlucky there you can argue and that allows that player to run into the middle you see that all stems from a simple mistake so if you want to make a risky pass or do a risky play do it in the final third. That way, if you lose the ball, you have at least your CDMs in position. you got your back four and everything else. Do not lose the ball by using some sort of no-look pass or trying to run past your defense or even something simple like trying to jog past someone. Just make the pass away. Why do you have to go ahead and draw past them? Just make the pass. Don't force yourself. If you can't go forward... Don't think, let me try to play smart. You can take a touch away to play it safe. But if you're, for example, like over here, what is there need to go forward here? Just go back or pass the ball to the right-hand side. There's no need to try to dribble my way through or make a pass into the middle. End up losing the ball. And that is why I can see that even some of the top-tier best players inside the game can't defend situations like this because there's too much to handle and your defense is out of shape. That is the key reason people concede goals, especially when they're winning 2-1. They can play in the game as against me, but the truth is, with a little bit of pressure that they can't handle, but not taking less touches away, they make mistakes, and that in turn cause the situation. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This is the top three tips that I wanted to give you. And don't forget, if you want to get better at FIFA, you can come to my FIFA score series, patreon.com forward slash no guys, you can click right over here. And if you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money. That is a no guys guarantee. The link is down below in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Take ease and of course, I'll catch you next time. Peace out.